Unfortunately, we're living in times where our animal selves is being empowered and celebrated. It's a tragedy. It's the tragedy of our time. The, the destruction of the human soul. The destruction of the human soul. Now let's go back to the angels. Tell me the names of these things and these people and their qualities if you're telling the truth. The angels, قَالُوا subhanak. They said, no, no, you're too perfect. You're too perfect. When do you say subhanallah? What did I say? When do you say subhanallah? When you say something inappropriate. Ya Allah, we back off. We, we did not mean to question. You are way too perfect. La ilma lana illa ma allamtana. We have no knowledge except what you already taught us. In other words, all you taught us was about the jinns. We knew about the jinns and we guessed about the human beings, but we don't know about the human beings. You are way too perfect. We're never going to question your judgment again. Innaka anta al alim al hakim. You are the one that has all the knowledge. You are the one that is all wise. Angels, despite being this close to Allah, Despite being in conversation with Allah, recognize the limits of their knowledge. And this is the greatness of the angels. They are so close to Allah, and they maintain their humility. What happens with us? Sometimes with us, especially with young guys, young guys and girls that are in the audience, some of you are in the ilm mode. You are taking courses after courses after courses. You are taking notes upon notes upon notes. You are attending seminar after seminar after seminar. And now you've become the more knowledgeable among your bunch of friends. And as, the, as you become more knowledgeable, you are also the more uptight among your friends. Clearly the more arrogant and full of yourself among your friends. Clearly the more, more judgmental among your friends. As knowledge increases, you're supposed to become more down to earth. Not less judgmental, not more judgmental. That is a sign of knowledge. Angels recognize the limits of their knowledge, even though they're speaking directly with Allah. They weigh way more than you and I do, and yet they recognize that Allah knows everything. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَلِيمُ الْحَكِيمُ You know, this is the, the, the last thing I'll share with you about this is that angels refused, and then they learned that they should not be prematurely passing judgment. Isn't that the case? They don't know everything, they don't know all the qualities of these people, they should not prematurely be passing judgment. What is the lesson you, you and I learn? When you meet someone and you don't know everything about them, you should not be rushing to pass judgment. La ilma lana illa ma allamtana. Allah turns to Adam. Ya Adam, qala ya Adam, anbi'hum bi asma'ihim. Tell them about their names. Tell who about whose names. You remind me. Who is he telling and what is he telling? Adam is telling the angels the names of who? Us. Guess what? Adam alayhi salam is not the only one who knows your name and your qualities. Now who else knows it? The angels do too. The angels do too. And that's really important. Because when angels know that you are an irresponsible driver, sometimes you speed when you're supposed to slow down. You see a patch of ice and you say, hmm, let's floor it. You know, you're that kind of driver. يُرْسِلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ حَفَظَ Allah says He sends guardians for you. You, you, some of you are, are bad at certain things and Allah says, sends protective angels based on your particular problem. <laughs> so they had to know who you are. Because they're going to be, even they're going to be put at your service. So, فَلَمَّا أَنْبَأَهُمْ بِأَسْمَائِهِمْ Then eventually when Adam was done, alayhi salam, telling them all of their names, قَالَ أَلَمْ أَقُلْ لَكُمْ he said, didn't I tell you? إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ غَيْبَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Didn't I tell you that I know the unseen secrets of the skies and the earth? There are secrets of the earth. The, the question was about the earth, wasn't it? There is something, it's so beautiful in this phrase, أَعْلَمُ غَيْبَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ I know the unseen secrets of the sky and the 
earth. You know why that's beautiful in the story of Adam alayhi salam? Because Adam alayhi salam is made up of two parts. One part of it is made of the earth. And the other part came from the sky. The ruh came from the sky. And Allah says, I know the secrets of the skies and the earth. Didn't I tell you? Some of their qualities don't come from dirt. Some of their qualities come from the ruh. From something so incredible. Didn't I tell you? You shouldn't underestimate these creatures. They're not like any other creature. They're not animals. They're something special. Animals live on this earth to eat, sleep, procreate and die. That is all they care about. But these human beings, they have something so powerful inside them that takes them so far beyond being animals. It gives them the ability to show love, to aspire for justice, to crave for beauty, to please a, a master they've never seen, to show courtesy to each other, to think beyond their own greed, to develop brotherhood and sisterhood. These human beings are capable of incredible goodness that no other creature even comes close to. But you know what? Today, when you guys are sitting in this audience and so many young people sitting in this audience, you guys know what's happening with the music industry. You guys know what's happening with the entertainment industry. There is a celebration of making you into an animal. There is a celebration of the death of your ruh to leave you just being a body. Every other song about, I want to get with you. You know, let's get this on, I can't wait any longer. Your body this and your body that. Well, who thinks like this? You know who thinks like this? Dogs. Dogs think like, pigs think like this. Monkeys think like this. They see their mate and go, ah, 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 and they go. That's what monkeys do. And what do you find now? You find who let the dogs out, you know? <laughs> Adam alayhi salam was given this, angels are being told these human beings are going to be awesome. Because they will not allow themselves to be reduced to animals. Unfortunately, I don't know if you and I can say that about ourselves. Unfortunately, we're living in times where our animal selves is being empowered and celebrated. It's a tragedy. It's the tragedy of our time. The, the destruction of the human soul. The destruction of the human soul. I mean, even look at aberrations. Like, you know, in, even in the world of art. Even in the world of art. Art used to be you draw a pretty mountain. For Muslims, it was always about symmetry. You guys know, right? Islamic architecture is always about symmetry. You know why that is? It's inspired by the ayat of the book of Allah, where Allah describes the entire heavens and the earth have been created with order. So it's as though the, the Muslim artist saw the back, the, you know, the, 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 the code, the source code behind creation is all symmetry. So his art was actually what is behind the scenes. Instead of drawing the mountain and the tree, he would design, he would draw symmetry. Because they were inspired by what is going on in the ghayb. But today, what is art? You just take some monk paint and splash it on the wall. Oh, what does that speak to you? It's telling me about my late grandmother and how... Chaos. Chaos is being celebrated. More and more, you know, I'm not, I'm not an advocate of music and I'm not against music. I don't, I'm not a mufti, so you can't ask me about that stuff. But I will tell you one thing. Music has become increasingly more... Uh, 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 aggressive, violent, abrasive, loud, disturbing even, incoherent. You have songs where you don't know what the guy is singing. <laughs> like you know, you have no idea what he's saying. And he, you got, you're singing along. <laughs> you have no idea. But you're jamming along. This is a destruction of the human soul.
is ripping out from us what makes us human. Is ripping out from us what makes us human. Subhanallah.